Hello there and welcome back to Impact. I'm Darius Chisholm. We're switching gears this morning, afternoon, and talking more with Mark Hafner. He is overcoming the odds in an incredible book that he's recently written and published, and his life story of overcoming some pretty difficult challenges and going on to not only live to talk about it, but to coach people into health and wellness. Thanks so much for being here, Mark. Thank you. Pleasure Thank you to meet you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you. Um, so let's start, if we could, by you giving us a synopsis of, of uh, these challenges that you faced and overcome and as you just put it to me every day is an adventure so you, you went from battling some pretty big things and now living you know your life to the fullest absolutely from the time I was a young boy I had a lot of difficulty in school I overcame a learning disability I was told a lot of things that I couldn't do a very dear friend of mine David Hausdorff said mark you have to put your story out there you have to get it out so parents can hear about it so when their kids have challenges they can overcome them that's why I wrote this book uh, fortunately I have a wife that is like my rock and my anchor her name's Shelly and a, a beautiful daughter Lauren as well that keep me grounded and wonderful parents they just celebrated their 50th anniversary and a brother who I look up to he lives in, in the Maryland area and with writing the book and coaching all the different sports and doing the fitness training it was about um, uh, in November of a, a year and a half ago, I didn't feel 100% and I went to the doctor and they had found a tumor and I had to have uh, surgery and I went through the surgery and I went through the chemotherapy and I, it, it was called actually BCG treatments and for bladder cancer, for bladder cancer. Mm -hmm. and I'm in remission and then they said the kind of cancer is the best kind of cancer to have is this kind. I was like, I don't know, any kind of cancer was good. <laughs> and what I try and give back to the people that I work with is positive experiences and to keep them focused on being able to have a good outcome. I spoke to the Gilda's house last year and the kids played tennis with me and I just tried to make the hour that they were with me nothing but more enjoyable. And, and it's no doubt that overcoming challenges is obviously your suit uh, in life and that you know as a young child you, you battled some um, so-called learning disabilities, yes. um, meningitis is that correct? As um, a baby, yes. As a baby a car accident, some pretty significant challenges along the way, and yet uh, here today you've written a book that is, is about inspiring others to, to grow from their challenges just as you have. Correct. And so when you work with, with young people as you do in, in a fitness atmosphere in terms of um, coaching health and wellness, as well as the elderly here, what are some of the points in the book that you, you make sure that you instill in them? Definitely they should find something that they can be successful at. Also, that they want to listen to their family, they want to listen to themselves, don't let others influence them. Because if I would have let other people influence me from the naysayers, I wouldn't be sitting here today and I wouldn't have accomplished any of the things that I accomplished in my life. Instead, you want to surround yourself with positive people and you want to get into something that you can be successful at. You write in your book that you never let pride interfere with your goals in life. And um, that's interesting because some people feel so prideful and boastful about some of the things that they've accomplished, and yet you're saying don't let it interfere, continue on past that, make new goals. And follow your dream. Absolutely, because if, if you're just focused on that, then that's going to hold you back. So that even though that's a positive, that can end up being a hurdle that you're going to have to climb. Yeah, and, and as you point out too, remember that you cannot control the opportunities you're given. What you do with them, you can control. Absolutely. And, you know, we've talked about not being able to control some of the challenges that one is presented with, cancer, car accidents, things that just happen out of the blue, but opportunities as well. And, you know, I would think in reading this that sometimes when, when opportunity knocks, great opportunities, great, some people don't answer. Perhaps they're afraid of success. This is true. And if, if, if you don't answer that opportunity and then that success doesn't come, then you're like, woe is me and how come I never had the opportunity instead of jumping full in there. If you fall on your face, you got to get back up and just keep going forward. Now you, as we talked about earlier, uh, spend some time with young people in terms of fitness and coaching as well as some of the elderly. Where can people find you and what, what types of programs do you offer? Uh, they can visit my website. It's www.onyourmark, O-N-Y-O-U-R-K, O-N-Y-O-U-R-M-A-R-K for F-O-R, life, L-I-F-E dot com, on your mark tennis or markhafner.org. I run programs at um, the Jewish Community Center 
Also, I work for Presbyterian Senior Care. They manage a lot of different buildings throughout the whole city. I run a lot of after school programs as well. And what a great way for kids who are presented with some challenges to be able to work one-on-one -on -one with you uh, in an atmosphere, uh, whether at the Jewish Center or some of the other programs that you offer. Tennis is a passion of yours, something that obviously you've played and played well. Absolutely. Um, what do you find, how, and I guess it would be the case whether it's tennis or, or any other sport, sometimes um, one's ability to, to just really ingrain themselves in a physical activity or a passion helps them to not focus on whatever those challenges are. Do you encourage that, that people find something, whether it's sports or something else, to just really wrap their arms around and become passionate about? Definitely, because if they can find something, instead of looking at the whole picture, it's a, it's a small sampling, and then they can get really into it, and then they can lead to success. This is how I got my job. When I first started to learn how to skate, I was so bad that they told my parents at the Monroeville Mall never to bring me back. That's now a food court. <laughs> and I'm now a skating instructor, so I was wrapped up into those small things that enabled me to get to the bigger things. Another place I also could be found is at Club One over in Shadyside. Okay, great. And if you'd like some more information, if we could put the information back on the screen uh, to find out more information about Mark, to get his book, to learn about where he has uh, fitness programs, you can go to the website on the screen, www.onyourmarkforlife.com, or call the phone number on the screen, 412-951-6772, uh, to get the book, to get some more information, even to have Mark come and speak. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, talk with some young folks or some other people who might need uh, his encouragement. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, you're quite welcome, Mark. Pleasure meeting you. On Thank Absolutely. you. And we've got more impact. Stay straight. Stay with us.